So hello everyone and I am Dr. Rashmi Sarkar. I am a director professor or a senior professor in the Department of Dermatology, Lady Harding Medical College and Associated Hospitals, New Delhi, India. Well, I happen to be one of the editors-in-chief for this e-module learning program along with Dr. S. Sachidanand, and I am also one of the speakers in this program. So, we are going to talk today about orientation to the PG Dermatology lecture series and I am going to take you through this little journey, what you can expect from this program. Hello everybody, uh, this is a, a orientation to the PG Dermatology lecture series started by JP Publishers and I welcome you all for this um, orientation program. Now first of all, what are the learning objectives? So first we are going to look at overview of dermatology as a speciality. What are the challenges faced by postgraduates in dermatology? What is the structure of the PG Dermatology teaching program? How e-learning complements books? Integrating lecture series with your college books and studies, the DigiNerm platform and the structure of the PG Dermatology lecture series on DigiNerm and finally how DigiNerm would help the postgraduate students. Now let's have a look at overview of dermatology as a speciality. Well, it did start off as a very small narrow branch and even now it's a delicate and fascinating broad speciality. You must remember, however, that it's a very study intensive speciality. You have to read lots and lots of theory. And it gives a flexibility of either practicing clinical dermatology or aesthetic dermatology or both. Coming to the challenges that are faced by postgraduates in dermatology. Well, postgraduation is never easy. So you have to deal with skin lesion for which there appears to be initially no explanation. There is also little exposure to the rare diseases in the community and little exposure to pharmacovigilance and medical legal aspects in dermatology. We teach dermatology to postgraduates by giving importance to clinical problems and disorders. And of course, nowadays, Community dermatology and social dermatology also are becoming very important. More and more diseases which are not seen as a routine in the uh, outpatients may be seen in community uh, community setup. So early clinical exposure to all these postgraduates is very important. And uh, as they learn, they also have to be in touch with the recent advances. So to get to these recent advances, they have many ways and means of learning dermatology. One is through the, uh, you know, internet that they have. Uh, they can always look into their most recent advances, like, you know, the latest journals, latest uh, magazines, which carry on with a lot of information. They can also get to know about the recent advances through the CMEs, seminars, conferences that are being held around the clock. And of course, it is important that they take up uh, these things to finish their thesis or dissertation, which is compulsory for them to appear for the examination. So they have to be in touch with the uh, recent advances also. And moreover, the whole of postgraduate uh, dermatology teaching program is a self-learning program. Most of the times the teachers aid them in learning and uh, they can also learn a lot of dermatology through peer discussions. And of course, uh, you know that in examinations, uh, the knowledge that the student has gained in the last uh, three years during his uh, PG Dermatology Residency will help him get through and where there will be uh, both histopathology session and also approach based case discussion which are in, in the form of long cases and short cases and this is in general the PG Dermatology teaching program. How this e-learning complements books? You know the books, textbooks are always, uh, there is no interaction between the uh, reader and the book there. The information is shared in the book and the student uh, reads through and it's more of a theoretical knowledge. Whereas in e-learning, the advantage is that the student can listen to the teacher. On one side is the teacher who is giving a lecture and the student can listen to that. And of course, he'll be exposed to the clinical approach. 
which is absent in a textbook. Textbook only narrates the information. Whereas in a lecture like this, a e-learning lecture, the clinical approach to a particular disease can be discussed. There is also advantage of demonstration in these because it's a video uh, recording, video presentation. The videos can be shown in the presentations, which is otherwise not possible in the textbooks. And of course, the adv most important advantage is the student has got, uh, you know, he can go through these videos, recorded videos at his own convenient time. Uh, both synchronous and asynchronous way of learning things can be uh, achieved and there's a lot of flexibility for the postgraduate because they can download these videos, download these e-learning materials and mm -hmm. uh, listen to them at their own convenience, at their own convenient time, at their own comfortable uh, home or uh, you know postgraduate hostels. So there is also an advantage of ongoing interaction. If they have any doubts, they can always um, you know go through and uh, reach out to their teachers and learn a lot through ongoing interaction. How do we integrate the lecture series with college studies and books? Now remember that the lecture series here supplements only the PG course curriculum. It's not an alternative. You have to pay attention to your post-graduation, which is for three years or two years. And this is just another aid. Just like you have a book, you have a journal. This is another eight that that's going to be with you. And this is brought out by uh, Digino, which is an edtech initiative by JP Publishers. And uh, it's easily accessible on phone. So the student have got the advantage of uh, uh, downloading it and then listening to the lectures wherever possible. Even on the move, it can be uh, heard. And uh, they can learn at their own pace. And at any number of times, it can be uh, you know listened to and anywhere it can be listened to. So these are the advantages that uh, Digino has provided to the students. And uh, it's uh, like, you know, classroom experience with uh, interactivity is the additional benefit. And most importantly, it is not that they are learning only from their teachers in, the, in their particular college, but it is their advantage that the knowledge is being shared by several medical gurus across the country. So they get to learn from so many teachers. The features of this online lecture series is it's got a wide content coverage. The e-lecture series has been divided into many modules and each module has got a specific uh, subject and another subject, uh, many topics that have been uh, discussed which are relevant to this pre present day. And uh, there are more than uh, 90 uh, contributors and about uh, 110 topics have been discussed and various case scenarios and video demonstrations are also being included, which helps them a lot uh, in gaining uh, knowledge. And all these are up to date and most recent uh, knowledge have been uh, recorded. The online lecture series also has got a drug formulary, which is a, for a ready reference. There are the uh, drugs are listed in alphabetical order. All the drugs that are used in dermatology are being uh, uh, listed and a ready reference is provided as to their drug dosage, the common side effects that we come across and also the common indications for which the drugs have been used. This is a very added uh, beneficial feature for the uh, online lecture series. There is also an image bank, what, what images have been used by all during these uh, video, uh, video recordings. Uh, apart from that, other uh, relevant uh, video uh, and also image bank uh, have been enriched by more several images that have been uh, collected from various authors. And of course, this is not going to be the one-time uh, affair. There will be a lot of ongoing chat discussions, journal clubs, and uh, orient the student towards most recent advances in the subject. And so it will be a very dynamic process. The students can, postgraduate students can learn uh, and also uh, clarify their doubts through online uh, chat discussions. Thank you so much. I wish you all good luck. I hope this online lecture series is going to be a um, very uh, useful thing for all of you. Before I sign off, I'd like to once again wish you a very happy learning on our online e-learning platform and that is the Legina platform. And I hope that you're really going to gain and you know this is going to really complement you along with your learning from your books and your normal studies. Thank you so much.